guys, welcome back to my channel. And today what I'm gonna be doing is a really cute little DIY. I've had several requests for me to do like a farmhouse uh, utensil holder. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is my take on it. Um, it's farmhousey, but it still has that little bit of a vibe of a Tuscan feel, sort of, but it, I think it really is more farmhouse. But let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna make this project. It's gonna be super simple. Um, I just got one of these uh, cans that I got some sweet potatoes in, and it's a pretty tall can, as you can see. I didn't save my uh, label, so I don't know exactly how many ounces it was. I'm thinking it might be like 32, I'm not sure. And I just took the label off of it and then just sanded it to get the sticky, um, like glue spots off, okay? Then you're gonna need some napkins of your choice. I got these at Tuesday morning, I'm pretty sure. And then you're gonna need some Mod Podge, and I just have the mat. And then some Waverly chalk paint in this cashew, because I think that will go nicely with these napkins. And then from Dollar Tree, just some of this rope that they have. And then you're gonna need an emery board to sand, a glue gun, a foam brush and a brush like this and a hot glue gun, I don't know if I said that, and some scissors. It's gonna be really simple. So um, let me put some foil down here to protect my surface. And then I'll just bend this down so you can see, okay? Okay, like I said, I took my label off. I just found the seam, peeled it off and then just um, took some sandpaper and sand, just slightly sanded where the um, little sticky places were. Okay, and then I thoroughly washed it out, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is just paint this. Because I don't know, um, if you'll be able to see through anything when I put that um, napkin on and I want to make sure that it looks nice and you can't see this gold shining through. So you would paint yours whatever color corresponds to your napkin or just a cream or a white I think would work. All right, so I know you know what I'm doing, so for time purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and get off, but I'll finish painting this all the way around and let it dry and then I'll be back. All right, I have it. I just took it and put, used a hairdryer on it, set on low, uh, warm, and I have this done now. And um, you can see I wasn't really particular. You can still see some gold through there in some places. I think this is pretty too, okay? So now what we're gonna do is just get our napkin, any kind that you want. I just think that this is really pretty. I've used them several times. It just has like corkscrews and a really pretty, it says chateau there. So we're gonna go ahead and separate the plies of this napkin. And you can put water on your finger and separate them too, um, that way. Sometimes I have trouble doing that. I don't know, here we go. All right, so. You just want to get it to where you just have the ply that has the design on it and just pull that loose and set this aside okay and what I think I'm gonna do let's look before I put my um, I could go all the way up with it or I could Cut it. No, I think I'll go all the way up with it. Okay, so I'm probably going to need two pieces of napkin. All right, so what I'm going to do is find my seam on the can. That makes it easier to make sure that you have it straight. So just find your seam that goes down the back and then just get you out some Mod Podge. And for this, I'm gonna use this type of a uh, brush. I think it might work better. I almost forgot something, a very important step. You're gonna need some cling wrap. 
and cut it this time about, we usually ball it up, but this time I want something that will go around the um, can. Okay, and what we're gonna do is just work in sections. So I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on this. And then just work in sections around this little can. Okay. Now all we're going to do is just get this, put it, and I want it around the bottom of the can. So get this, put it right there, right above the rim, and right up through there where that seam was. Okay, then pull it taut, and then this is where this is going to come in very handy. We're going to open this up and just push with this, and it will get the wrinkles out, and it will also allow you to get down inside those grooves, because I like the look of those grooves, okay? All right, then we're gonna take this off. And then you can see I have no wrinkles and I have my little grooves. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep working ourselves around. But it's a really easy way to do this. And it gives a nice effect. I don't mind wrinkles with Mod Podge. Um, with this, I wouldn't even care if I ended up with some because I like things to look old. But if you don't want the wrinkles, this definitely is a good method to use. Like I said, you just pull it taut, then you get this, you put this on and just smooth it down. And it just, it's seamless. It helps you do this so easy. And then you just take this off. Now I have a little bit of wrinkles here, but like I said, I don't really care if I do end up with some. And kind of you can take your finger gently and go down in between those grooves to make sure you have it. Okay, let's just pull this off and look. Oh, this is turning out so nicely. Okay, so see, you can see how pretty that is turning. Okay, then I'm just gonna put this right there and I'm gonna, I have another piece right here. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and put this right here. And we are almost done with the decoupage. I mean, this is so easy. Of course, we're gonna go back and put another coat over what we've just decoupaged. And make sure you get back under there where you haven't put any decoupage glue. Then just pull it taut. Lay this over it. And just push it. But this will give you, I mean, really good results. I, I just really never had, have had a problem with it. Okay, and if you get a little off, like I did on that one, no problem. Okay, and then we just need a little piece right here to go right in here. So what I'm gonna do is just cut me a piece. And you can tear it if you want. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. And just push it down. And your paper won't tear this way either. Okay, now we're back to where we're on top of the others. So I could either, I don't think I want to lap it. I'm just going to cut it right here. I'm 
like I said, you can tear it if you want. Probably give a cleaner effect. But I'm not going to worry about it. going to go right in there seamlessly and you'll never know the difference. Okay, then we're going to get this, do our little method right here again. Okay, and that's where I put it together. It works so good every time. Okay, now we don't need all this up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a lot of this off, the bulkier stuff off. I'm gonna get it pretty close. And I like that color that I put underneath there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just take this Mod Podge and put another coating over top of what we just did. Lightly apply it. And seal it down really nicely. And you can, if you want, you can sprinkle glitter in there right now if that's what you want to do. And that would be really pretty. You could give it a nice sheen. That would be really pretty. And I may have to put my um, Ceram Wrap back over this because I think I'm making little wrinkles. But like I said, I really don't care if it does end up wrinkled. It doesn't really bother me. And take that off. Go over here where I had just a few. Okay. Now right up here I had some. Right up here I have a few. I'm just going to try to Move that out a little bit. If I don't get it all out, I'm really not going to worry about it because it's really not going to bother me. Okay, and this is what we have. You can see that is beautiful. I think that's going to be really pretty. So what I'm going to do is let this totally dry with the Mod Podge on it, and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, it's pretty dry. I took it and put it on a hair dryer set on um, low warm. It's pretty dry. It still has a few little places that aren't totally dry. So at this point, what you want to do is get you a emery board and just take it. Hope you'll be able to see and gently file downwards, but you only want to go in one direction. Okay, just one direction and it will take of course my nail file is pretty dull I need a new one but you can see it takes it off at the top nicely so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and then I'll be right back okay I took the nail file around and got it um, the only thing you see in here is like some places that I didn't get paint. And then right here, there's a little bit where my nail file isn't um, 
really good and sharp, I guess you would say. Um, but anyway, this is how it turns out. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's so cute. You'd never know that that was a tin can under there. Okay, now what you're gonna do, and you could even fill this up with like little, um, those little balls that are glass and put your makeup brushes in it. You could use it to put your utensils in it. You could do whatever. Now naturally, if you were gonna do the utensils, you need to do something down in here. I would probably paint it inside as well. Okay, so all we're gonna do next is just open this from Dollar Tree. And you don't have to do this step, and you can put it at the bottom if you want, or you can put it along the top, or you could put it both places. I think I'm gonna put mine around the top. Okay, so what I'm gonna do Put a generous amount of glue right here. Oh, I'm getting weak. <laughs> okay. And then use these little things that I have. And then I'm just going to take it and glue it every so often. it every so often around the top. I think this is going to give it a nice, nice look. And then I'm just going to, I think, overlap it when it comes right here. When it comes to the, um, clean up some of that glue when it comes right here because it's the only bad thing about using this rope is it frays. Okay, I just used my pliers to cut that. And then I'm just gonna put this right on here and I'm gonna make sure I glue those ends so maybe they won't fray. And just push that down. Okay, I went around and put my um, rope at the top and then this is where the two ends met and they look a little nasty to me. So I was gonna go look for like a little small flower or something that I could put there, some wood of something, but I didn't have anything. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just go around and I've glued, I've got some jute here and I just cut it and I just glued it every so often in the middle of this rope. And I'm gonna try, and you wouldn't have to do this, it's just if you want it to look, you know, more farmhouse. Um, and I think I'm gonna to have to put it right here as well. Just a little dab of glue to keep it in the center because I don't want it to fall. All right, then all you have to do is just tie you a really pretty bow. It can be as big or small as you want. And then naturally we're gonna cut this. And you wouldn't have to even put the bow on there if you didn't want to. I was just trying to hide my little, uh-oh. There we go, I think that looks better. Okay, here it is, it's finished, and I just put some utensils in it. I think it's really cute. Like I said, you could put some more of the rope along the bottom if you wanted, I just didn't want to. But um, you never know that that was just a tin can underneath there, I think it is really cute. And you could also, um, like I said, put makeup brushes down in it if you wanted, or you could even stick candies down in there that's packaged, wrapped, or things. 
You could do so much and when the holidays come, you could get your different kind of napkins. It's really, I mean, the possibilities are endless, but it does look farmhouse to me. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.